Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of The Nerd Chronicles. This is your host, Christian Paul speaking. All right. This following episode here contains graphic content that may not be suitable for definitely children and some other viewers involved, which could involve graphic language, um, visual graphic content, and or both. Viewer discretion is advised. I was almost tricked into joining a pyramid scheme. So if you don't know what a pyramid scheme is, it's like this program where you start a business selling a product to all of your family and friends. But then you often don't make enough money doing that, so then they encourage you to get your family and friends to start their own businesses, and then you get a percentage of all of their earnings. And they usually tell you to be pretty upfront about what you're trying to do, but that's not what happened to us. So when I was in college, Melinda and I were dating, and we were like kind of like looking for like older couple friends who could kind of like tell us about like how to live life. So we meet this couple, and they say they're gonna take us under their wing. And we're excited because like we feel like we just made new friends and like we went out a couple times and it was great but then they gave us like a book to read and the book was like about business and we brushed it off because we had recently just created a photo booth business and so we figured that they just wanted to help us with that and then we meet up and then melinda and i were like quizzed on this book and they made us give like oral book reports on it and then i guess we passed because then they said we want to introduce you to some of our friends and we think they can help you with your business so we leave i get a google calendar invite i don't really think about it until the day of and then we show up to this apartment and there are dudes wearing three-piece suits outside. And then I look at the calendar invite and it says, attire is business professional. So then we rush back to my house, get changed, and then go back to the apartment. So inside the apartment, all of the furniture is moved around. There's just a bunch of folding chairs and a whiteboard. And then some guy gets up there and says, congrats on making it to this round. And I didn't even know this was a competition. I thought that we were gonna get dinner with our friends, rich friends. And then he gives this whole spiel about business and growing your business. And Melinda and I are like still kind of excited because we still think this is about growing our photo booth business, but we were very wrong. So then our friends invite us to like one more thing. It's at this conference center and there's like thousands of people. And we're still thinking that this is gonna be about our photo booth business. But then like the guy who I guess runs the whole thing gets up on stage, reveals what everything is and it's groceries. This entire business is about selling off-brand groceries to your friends, family, and underlings. And that's when we realized this is a pyramid scheme. And then this is the best part. We leave, my friend texts me, hey, are you on board? And I'm like, I don't really know if this is my thing, but we would still love to hang out with you. And then he responds, super glad you still want to hang out. But unfortunately, we're going to be spending so much time with this business that if we ever did hang out, it would be few and far between. And we have never seen them again. Do you see... All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this is how illegal pyramid schemes uh, mainly work, right? As I stated before on how they operate, you know, usually would get ahead. Um, a recruit mainly come in basically targeting either the naive, um, the vulnerable mainly, because, you know, anyone can literally be vulnerable at any given time. It could be in like a low point in their lives or trying to find some way to literally reinvent themselves after literally coming up short or being on the short end of a stick which unfortunately could happen to literally any one of us, right? You know, it could happen to a young college student, it could happen to a young high school student that doesn't really fully know anything much about the world, doesn't really fully know much about like working real life scenarios, having like a big time career has yet to start in a career yet, doesn't really fully know much about entrepreneurship and all the other ins and outs and like the wheezy, wheezy, grimy, some sort, some cases, ways of business. Right, it can happen to those folks. It can happen to a you know, stay-at-home mom, for instance. Right, you know that wants to actually try and basically buy new products, or basically any woman that's like dying and actually trying the next big thing and trying to live like a heavy lifestyle, and they get sold like the promises of like fast life, you know, Bugattis, Lamborghinis, you know, what I mean, McLarens, Porsches, you know, shopping sprees for days at the favorite outlet store, you know. Pos coats, you know, basically other forms of, you know, partners that you're mainly with, you know, first class flight jets, you know, private jets, cigars, literally the whole nine yards, you know, basically having the aim to literally be someone of high value, which realistically is very, very difficult to do. So what those recruits from those pyramid schemes would do illegal or legal, right? Is that they mainly play on your emotions, okay? They mainly play with your manipulative games. They basically try to um, tell you something, okay, if you wanna try and make this money, we're trying to be your own entrepreneur and this and that, you know? 
pay us this sort of fee or pay this initiation fee or how many fees like they basically require of you and they will provide a pamphlet on how they run their own system but yet they don't show any other products that they are looking to sell right they don't sell any other services they have of requirements or even teach them any other sort of skill search or certain exams um, to basically like both the credit actually have them well trained on how to give the proper client the proper service in order for them to have like a fair transaction um, when it comes with goods and money that's why the Securities and Exchange Commission deem illegal pyramid schemes those real pyramid schemes mainly illegal because there's not a service literally brought in return for an exchange of money right and you see it fall every time so mathematically speaking you know how pyramid schemes work as I said earlier they require an exponential multiplication of recruits in order to funnel in more money to actually have them circle down the chain in order for that further recruit to actually meet a, um, a quarter just to maintain some amount of money to maintain his or her lifestyle. They would have to specifically funnel way more recruits rather than actually doing a lot more to sell it. Barely any selling a product whatsoever. Um, at the very least, are you literally saying little to no products, literally whatsoever? It's make make sure they get like a bunch of um, recruits up in their little stick as much as possible. Uh, when it literally comes by multiplying more, multiplying more, will become a point where it comes to exponential rate so much so that in theory, it could work to the infinity, really to the end power. But when it comes to a finite system of resource, when it comes to a finite number of people, um, when it comes to the population of America, especially when it comes to the whole world population, eventually that system will be doomed to fail. And also take note that some folks would be very keen to the game and don't want to get involved in all the crazy stuff that they are doing. So they actually just walk away and just let go all together. Eventually that system will literally crumble. The people up in the system will become extremely frustrated, lose their shit, you know, Basically, talk to the higher up saying, yo, what the fuck is my money? What the fuck you been doing all this, all this time? Why you been playing me? I've been paying all this money. I'm not even getting a return on my investment. What the fuck's going on? And they have all this quotes, you know. Literally, Pete, they be cursing them out profusely to the point where all they made is they gone to shit. And eventually, the whole system and the whole um, economic structure, the business structure, unfortunately, collapses. With the top guns, ended up um, taking the majority of the fall and possibly facing... More than likely, um, we'll be facing some extremely serious criminal charges um, later down the line. As I've stated earlier, you know, if it sounds real too good to be true and they give you that lavish slice out right away, why not give me a thorough plan? Not, not even, not, not even giving like a thorough breakdown of what type of goods they're selling and how you're gonna try and impact that customer in this way, and literally learn about the products that they're selling specifically. If you're dealing with those things, you're actually dealing with a hardcore pyramid scheme. Run, run, run for your life, for the sanity, and definitely for your potential future. You will thank me later. Your family will thank you, thank, thank me later. All this, and they'll eventually thank you for actually making the right decision and staying away from all that crazy that's going on. Because if you get caught up in a mess still, you could get hit. Boom! some criminal charges also. Do you see?